Hello everyone. Today we hear one of the most interesting gospel stories. One day, while on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing through a small town called Jericho. There Jesus met a man named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector for the Roman government. During the time of Jesus, the tax collectors were usually Jewish. They were despised and looked upon as the worst of sinners by most people because they often collected more than required and kept the extra for themselves. Zacchaeus would have been the most hated of all tax collectors because he was the chief tax collector and he was probably richer than the others. Friends, as Jesus was heading his way, Zacchaeus, wanting to see who Jesus was, but being a short man not able to see above the crowd, ran ahead and climbed on a tree to get a glimpse of Jesus. This was hardly a dignified thing for one of the most prominent and richest men of the town of Jericho to do. He might have looked foolish that day especially to a crowd that hated him, but they did not stop him. He had the desire to see Jesus more than anything or anyone else. So out of curiosity and like an excited child, he climbed a tree to have a good look at Jesus. Up on the tree, he placed himself in the right position which led to Jesus' offer to stay in his house. Friends, when Jesus passed by, he looked up towards the tree and told Zacchaeus that he wanted to stay in his house that day. Zacchaeus hurried down the tree for he was more than happy to entertain Jesus in his home. However, the others, appalled and upset, started murmuring and grumbling about Jesus having an intimate conversation with a sinner and even offering to go and stay in his house that day. Although we do not know what Jesus said to Zacchaeus while they were in the house, we know the result of their interaction. Zacchaeus was changed completely. Amazed and overwhelmed perhaps with the kindness and presence of Jesus, Zacchaeus declared that he would give off of his money to the poor and repay the people fourfold if he had cheated any one of them. And Jesus, seeing Zacchaeus' sincere remorse for his past life and his willingness to make restitution, said, Today salvation has come to this house because he too is a son of Abraham. That is to say, Zacchaeus, a Jew, a descendant of Abraham, considered a sinner but because of his encounter with the Son of God and his genuine conversion, he became a true son of Abraham by faith. Friends, Luke concludes the story with Jesus saying that he had come to seek and save the lost. Zacchaeus' story is also our story. We too can be just as guilty as Zacchaeus selfish, greedy, and dishonest. Our lust for money and material things might be harming our families, friends, and people around us, whether we are aware or unaware of it. We might be living a life of deception and pretense, not just in terms of money, but in other areas of life for which others despise and hate us for. Nonetheless, let us not be disheartened or afraid. When we look for Jesus like Zacchaeus did, we too can be changed. If we too boldly take a step forward, disregarding pressure, embarrassment, ridicule, inconvenience and hardship to reach Jesus, He draws us to Himself regardless of what has happened in our past. He knows each one of us like He knew Zacchaeus. He really understands our suffering, needs and desire. Let us therefore, friends, go to places where Jesus passes by and eagerly wait for him, particularly 
Let us joyfully wait on him at Holy Mass, which is the soul of our faith. During Holy Mass, Jesus manifests himself in the scriptures, homilies, prayers, people, and most of all in the blessed bread and wine. When we are waiting to see Jesus, let us keep our ears open to listen to the voice of Jesus, who will whisper to us that he wants to make his home not only in spirit, but deep in our heart. Finally, friends, when Christ is in us, let us delightfully respond to him without holding anything back. When we do respond and promise him to change our life or to live differently than we did before, our Lord Jesus fills us with abundant peace, joy and love. Amen. God bless you.